That's a pond, pond's fish in it. Monster bait, Jerry. We're down here at Green Acres on a special episode for 72 hours, fishing Friday evening till Monday evening. On this one, we're partnering with Monster Baits. They've given us three uh, different boilies and three or four different pop-ups to go with these boilies. We visited their uh, their factory uh, a couple of weeks ago, went all through their different baits. It was actually amazing down there to see how much and what goes into the to the borders that we're going to be using on this session. He spoke a lot on all, didn't he? So he we literally did. showed us through every little little vat that he's got, so we know what's in them. Every little bit, yeah, every bit that's in it. And which um, are the ones that you chose to, to pick out of the bunch that I've got? Beast, the beast. We've got we've got two kilograms of beast. Yeah. We've got two kilograms of plum ice. Yeah. And we've got two kilograms of monster ice. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we've got yes. that and we've got all the pop-ups to go with it. So we're really looking forward to this one now. This is going to be mostly boiling, boiling mm -hmm. session for both of us. We know this lake does really well. So uh, there we go. While Dan was bringing all the gear, gear around, I've set on my two rods so they're ready to go out straight away. So I'm going to get these out and hopefully we get a quick bite before the sun goes down. It's a lovely evening. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here we go. I think that's it. little video I've got Jamie a present something I've had for many many years it's done me really well rusty rusty old codex baiting needle glow in the dark really long so you can put a few bobblers on it if you're doing stringers and it goes through your bags really easily little bag of goodies picked up for us me and Jay for our session new baiting needle for you non rusty yeah, without the rust, that that will come. <laughs> a little one there as well. I'm always losing baiting needles. That's what we'll be using. Once you've run out of what we're using, I've still got a couple of meters left. That's some quick links. Some large eye swivels. Fancy these as well. I've had, I actually caught my biggest fish, uh, 28 pound, on fake maggots and a whittled down pop-up boilie. So I thought I'd get these, give them a go, use them as a hair stop, use two or three as a hair stop. So there we go. I'm going to leave it for a little while, just let the line seem properly. I'll come back in a minute. I'm going to get this second rod out and then two minds where to put it really, whether to put it close to the bank or in the middle 
might just throw it in the middle for the night actually. And it give a bit of room behind both of my baited spots for the fish to just come, keep coming through. Really quick drop, so it's about three foot there. But it was a good donk, so it was a good presentation on the bait. Put a donk on it. <laughs> oh, over here, the wind's blowing all the uh, all the pollen and um, all the fluff from the, the from the surface of the water up to Jamie's swim, which is good for me because I've got a clearer a clearer swim. Jamie's got loads of fluff, so it might just go in our reels, mightn't it? We just have to clean our reels out every now and again if we have to, but that's not a problem at all, really. But for a couple of 20s, don't mind that? Exactly, I don't mind cleaning them reels out a little bit at all. For a few fish. Right, let's go back and uh, put them bivvies up, because it's getting dark now, we need to put them bivvies up. Just had our dinner, Jamie's had a couple of bites, or a couple of knocks, so we jumped up and had nothing come of Jamie's, but I think, I think it's just a couple of liners, so I think he's gonna get a fish soon. Um, I had one one beep, ran down to my rods, and the fish was on. It looks like a really nice size fish as well. I think we think it's, it's near 20 pound. So let's have a little look. Get him out and weigh him. A nice 20 pound mirror. Size of that paddle, Jay. God, that's a nice size fish in it. Monster baits, Jay. Caught on. It was caught on uh, the monster baits. A little tiny plum whittled down uh, pop up. Awesome. On, on the deck. It's about 12 mil. Pink, light washed out pink. Look at that. That's what it's about, isn't it? Hey. Lovely Jamie. Oh, that's made it for me already, that. <laughs> that is huge. Eh? No, I think we should put it back now. Like that. <laughs> what a beauty. Look at the belly on it. Gonna spawn, didn't they? Let her go. I see a lady actually. Isn't she? Go on in. There you go. Twenty-one point seven pound. First fish. Rod's been out for about what three hours? Yeah, three hours. Single hook bait with a tiny little bag. Um, with a few crushed things in there, uh, a few crushed borders, which we'll show you tomorrow exactly what's in everything. So, uh, right, let's get another PVA bag on and get that rod back out, see if we can get another one. Good morning, we had uh, an un uneventful night really, um, except the fish were just jumping out everywhere, spawning all in the margins everywhere in the fronts of the swims they was jumping out um so we just had that one fish last night um but it looks like a lovely day the sun's just coming up there so we shall see what happens today we've got a few a few bits and pieces that we want to do we can have some good food as well 
Uh, we've got some nice bacon and cheese sandwiches coming, and we've got muffins and cream and bits and pieces like that. So we're looking forward to that. Um, yeah, let's get uh, let's get these rods out, uh, change the change the hook baits, and just see see if anything's tampered with them through the night. Let's have a little look. I just recast. Um, the rod was took into the right hand side. I brought it back in, lost the fish. I've got all this gubbins on the end of it. I can see here, I think two different rigs, there's my rig there. Let's try and get it apart. There's my rig there, and there's another rig with a hook. Can't find it, maybe I just thought it was a rig. Right, anyway, that was definitely a fish. I'm gonna get my rod back out. into our second evening now and um, we only, we've only had that one fish from yesterday um, the fish have been spawning again today they've been crashing out everywhere literally there was five fish earlier in the front of the swim getting Jamie wet as he's trying to rebait uh, but it's about six o'clock now I've got some got some loose boilies got the beast got some ice I'm gonna go and crush um, about 20 of each up in half or just half them I throw them over one of my rods. If I get a bite, I'll um, I'll put another rod on it. But uh, I'll see you down there. Make me new, uh, my new batch of PVA mag, PVA mag, PVA bag mix. It's still early. It's only half past six. The beast, ice in the bag, and that's it. And then garlic on its own. This crusher ain't man enough for these boilers. It's going to snap them, so I'm going to have to use the one, the one here I use for salt. I use this one to crush all my salt up. I've made light work of them boilers. Himalayan rock salt in there. Just enough in there for a little PVA bag. That's that's an 18 mil boilie compared to my bags. Usually they're half the size of this, but I put two boilies in instead of one. Just because it's the first cast and I want to add a little bit more attraction. Oh, Jamie's rod is beeping. I'm going to quickly run over. Keeps going. He did put a bit of bait over there last night, so hopefully they're on it feeding now. Because he's just had a few, few liners about 20 minutes ago. So I've already made up a PVA bag and... Uh, Re, re put a bait on. I'll show you what's going to go out. Little maggot as a hair stop. Little dumbbell plum. Uh, these are just bottom baits. Floral carbon hook link, four, about four inches. Mugger hook. Inline lead. 
tail rubber just poked in there, back lead. These are Jamie's, not the ones I normally use. But they'll do us. Right, let's get this out, just down the edge. See if we can't catch another nice sized fish. Jamie's rod's going again. For God's sake. Bloody dark. So I'll do a little video on uh, what these PVA bags look look like underwater after they've dissolved and see how long they take as well. So let's get really close. Lay that on its side. There you go, right. So about 20 seconds. Looks good. That's what my hook baits, that's, good. that's what uh, the bags look like. If I drop in a boilie, there you, go, you can see that boilie just next to that pile there, lovely. So, that's what that looks like under uh, under the water. As you can see, all three of my rods are in. That's because I'm just about to cast them out. I've got them all baited up now. Got all the correct gubbins on them. This left rod here, that has a small PVA mesh bag pierced onto the hook. And that is a yellow washed out plum ice monster bait. On this middle rod, ready for action is the same rig, however that has Caribbean cocktail in a PVA, small PVA mesh bag and Caribbean cocktail pop-up. And then the final rod I have is a little bit different, I wanted to try something. Now that has a PVA bag of plum ice with a milky toffee pop-up. Just because we're not having much luck on any of the baits so far, so I'm going to try that. And this one's just with a little method mix that's got in there uh, bugs and grubs from monster baits. It's got some crushed boilies from uh, plum ice crushed boilies in there as well. It's got some mealworm all crushed up, all nice and crunchy, a bit of protein for them. But yeah, let's see if that does the business. All three of them are ready to go out. Surely I've got to get a fish. So these are uh, wafters, but they actually critically balance out with the hook and a maggot perfectly. 
slide that on. Try and get our maggot on. Switching free. Lovely. I'm going to try and make the hook weight sit flat like that rather than up like this or if you put the dumbbell flat to the hook it will sit flat. Our little bag. I like to go in through the strong end to the strong end. A little spin. To put him in there. And that. That's ready. Second rod. Same thing, just with a different colour. Have a pink. Do you know what? On this bottom bait rod, I'm going to use a monster, a beast, as my bottom bait. I'm going to try anyway because I tried at the beginning of the session and they was too soft and they was coming off. But that seems seems all right. Maggot. I may just bring this one in just to see if it's alright and then if it is alright I'll, uh, I'll put another board on and recast it and just whittle down the sides a little bit that'll do that'll do for that just that in there and that is ready to go. That's another one, that's my second rod. Ready to go. Third rod, I've got Chodrig here. This little Chodrig, and I'm going to put on pop ups that have caught me a jar, a lot of fish. The garlic. They still smell so good. Check that, that that sits properly. If not, I might just cut a little bit of that away actually. It's a little bit too buoyant, so hold it under the water, give it a bit of a squeeze, pushes some of the air out. A little bit, a little bit less. There you go. I think. If you squeeze it onto the water, it, it pushes the air out. It's look at that, it's going down lovely. Perfect, look. It saves you cutting into it, and then the water don't get into it as quickly. And that's the third rod. That's the third rod done. That's going to be my centre rod. Right. Let's get these out. literally at the tip of my finger there, off that island. I've put a line of boilies from there all the way across to there. That's where my middle rod is with the garlic chod pop up on it. And then my third rod is just down here with about 50 odd baits over it. So let's see, uh, let's go into our final night now. Let's see what happens. It's nearly it's actually 10 o'clock now. One of my rods, this left hand rod that I've cast right over there from earlier, if you, if you remember, and um, was all the way over here, over there somewhere. And the line was just tight round there, and it had cut off the other two rods. But luckily, I lifted up, and oh, there's nothing on it, 
um, and it didn't tangle up my other lines. Um, but yeah, just lost the fish. And earlier as well with my zig rig, I lost the fish as well because I had an orange pop up on there. Um, I had a take, and when I reeled in, that little pop up had come off of my zig rig. So I've lost two fish today, and I lost the fish yesterday as well in this right margin. So I've only got one in, and I've had four decent goes at getting fish. So not the best, but now I've just had that bite. I've um, put two rods over there, I've put one back there, and I've put another one actually there. Uh, my middle rod, it was here somewhere, but I've shifted it over to there because I've got a bite. Oh, I can see a lot of movement over on the surface over there. So, uh, yeah, all baited back up again. So we'll give it another two or three hours. I reckon two hours, and if I don't have nothing else, I shall put another 20 of each bait out over that same line what I've done earlier from uh, from this corner down to about there so uh yeah catch up with you later all right so it's the end of the day now me and dan have just gone to our bivvies because obviously he's a little bit further down and again we haven't had any fish today unfortunately but again the fish were spawning the other day in the morning and through the night so it's not surprising really just unfortunate but they could still pick up in the middle of the night they could still pick up in the morning which we're hoping for as we are finishing up a oh I think it was just a liner because there's now roach and rudder uh, there's now roach and rudd spawning they've been spawning all day so a lot of uh, activity that in that sense, just not with catching fish, but onwards upwards, hopefully tomorrow we can, we can catch a few fish to show you and hopefully it picks up. But for now, good night. Good morning, it's uh, 10 o'clock in the morning on our last day, we've only got a few hours left now, we both lost the fish. Uh, last night um, so a little bit upset about that but it's the lovely day out there it's so hot I'm underneath an umbrella at the minute I'm just about to cook some pancakes say it's 10 in the morning so we're gonna have a bit of breakfast and uh, we've both got our rods back out um, on the same kind of spots with the same baits uh, put a bit of bait over James put a bit, a bit of bait over his rods, I'll put a bit of bait over mine. So we're just going to see what happens. So let's get these pancakes cooking, add these, and then uh, see what happens after. it for the end of our session here at Green Acres it's been wonderful just to get our rods out and into the water you'll see some lovely food in this episode and I bet he got you hungry Dan's had a 21 pound 7 pound carp out as well which is a great result for him but for now that's the end of the episode like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one